Hi, Lisa Christensen here with Watercolor Cards. I'm so excited to show you just my process on my Christmas Critters, like watercolor cards. They actually came from stamps. These are the stamps and I'll show you um, what I did. They are from Colorado Craft Company and the illustrator's name is Anita Jerum and she is a children's book illustrator and I just love her. Uh, so what I did for each one of them is I I stamped the image from from the stamp set onto watercolor paper and then I watercolored them and here I used a uh, traditional watercolor and I made the sky look kind of stormy and it just kind of worked uh, and then once I was happy with it I glued it onto an A2 card base and so this is what what I have and then I can just write in it the watercolor paper I use is actually 90 pound you guys uh, watercolor paper from mixed media Canson's mixed media watercolor paper I, I like it it works for a wash it definitely works for a wash it doesn't quite work for uh, like if you were gonna do like a huge watercolor but just to get a little bit of shading in and color down you can make it happen and again this stamp set is called teamwork happy holidays from our fam to yours so I did this in traditional watercolor and then I did this one in watercolor markers and you can kind of see the difference this one is a bit more vibrant um, it's dye ink it's ink that like stains the paper and this is watercolor that does not stain the paper so that's kind of fun all right this I also did, I did each one one in watercolor and one in ink which I think is super fun it really makes for uh, fun cards uh, again same same process 100 or 90 pound watercolor paper on the card bases Karen markers for this one and my regular traditional watercolor for this one um, I did paint the the stamp set is actually pretty small I have this stamp set it is really small so I had to add all of the landscape to it but the work was done for me with the stamp um, and this was called a sled bunny by Anita Jerome as well and I really liked that it, it was really fun to create it was fun to create the landscape so yeah you will see a couple more it's fun uh, so this stamp set is is called getting ready getting ready for Christmas look at the cute little rabbit putting his little stocking on a little tree with the Cardinals looking at him I had to give him a red bow because his stocking was red and the Cardinals were red and um, yeah super fun stuff so regular watercolor and then Karin markers watercolor and I just love the sentiment that says I will honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year by Charles Dickens what a fun thing to remember uh, so anyways I just fell in love with this bunny rabbit I hope you guys do too it's so cute uh, and again there's other different I love getting ready for this Christmas sentiment and the stockings were hung but I really like the Charles Dickens sentiment so I used it okay this is one of my favorite stamp sets this is called hats Christmas hats <laughs> it's so fun oh my gosh Colorado craft company has done you could have done like this is an otter this is a mouse this is a porcupine you got some cute little bugs even but I like the dog and the cat and so what I did um, is with this background I did a wet into wet I used indigo because it's a very dark uh, like winter's night color and then I I know that orange colors pop against a blue so I did a like a golden doodle type dog and it works really perfect and I just said happy paw a days <laughs> it's so fun and then I die cut it um, a frame to go around it in silver paper and it was that simple and I did that in watercolor and then I did this in car and markers and I just kind of painted in the trees and just kind of like let it do its thing uh, so both are super cute I don't know which one you like if you have a preference I'd love to hear but those were fun 
and then along with the same stamp set, the the Santa or the Christmas hats, I I I used the dog, the cat, and the porcupine, and I did one in watercolor and one in Karin markers. You can kind of tell the difference. Karin markers are really fun. This green is made with cascading, sorry, cascade green from Daniel Smith. It's one of my favorites. You can kind of see the different colors. There's some turquoise and there's some brown or some gradation, some granulation. It's just a really pretty pigment. I love the turquoise and the yellows that come out of it. And then again for for the Karin markers. It's so much fun and you can tell that there is someone to wed and then I went back in and just colored it in a bit more. It's They're so fun to play with. These cards are so fun. And then, did I do one more? Oh nope. So two two Christmas cards out of this set. That was well worth it. I always like it when I can get two cards or yeah two different cards out of the same set. Alright now this is the same thing. This set is all it is all is bright and it has cats and it has dogs and I just fell in love with this dog laying underneath the tree so I had to illustrate that a bit more uh, right here that's what bought me the stamp and so what I did is I just stamped this where I thought it needed to be right underneath the dog and then I just painted in the rest of the tree with like simple brush strokes like it's a very simple tree and then I wanted it to look like we were at home so I made like it look light and warm as if a dog was like happy to be at home so I used yellow a warm yellow and so that's that's what I got <laughs> isn't that fun my dog is a, a doxador so she's black she's a dachshund lab mix and so we <laughs> I had to paint her a bit more darker than than maybe I would have. I would have probably chose a different dog color, but it's perfect for me. And I'll probably send it to one of my kids. And then the car and marker one, I did want to try it with like a golden doodle retriever type look. And so I did a brown and it works. It just kind of blends into the background, which is not a problem. And then I instead of adding red uh, ornaments. I just made the tree look like it was lit with with extra yellow. So I purposely left some white to add in bits of yellow lights for a Christmas tree. So that's fun. And then on the same stamp set, I used a cat. You can't have a dog without a cat, <laughs> right? I don't know. Is it like team dog, team cat sort of thing? Uh, this one was pretty simple. I still think cats love to play with all the ornaments, so I had to do the stars are brightly shining, like it's cat Christmas tree season, <laughs> where, where the cats like to play with their ornaments on the tree or knock down the tree, I don't know. Anyways, so I thought this was very comical for those that have cats. And it's also super cute, look at how cute the bow is and the cat's looking right up at the star. I just, I love everything about this card. My thought process of going into this card was I wanted the star to be kind of the focus so everything else was secondary and then I want I needed something to anchor the cat so I just chose a darker blue because that would also pop the orange and then the cat I decided to do just a brownish yellow calico type look to a cat and that's what I came up with. Uh, this is on car and markers and this is on regular watercolor. You, I mean, you get totally two different looks and it is so fun. And again, this stamp set is all this bright, such a fun one. But same process here, that was both my process. I wanted it to be darker at the bottom. I wanted the star to be the main focus. And then you'll see here, I just kind of wet into wet, like wash with the tree. I didn't even go in and paint the little things. I just did a very simple wash with the tree. So anyways, and then I um, had some scalloped rectangle dies that I cut out and then matted. So pretty simple, but really effective, I think. Okay, this is probably one of my favorites. <laughs> it was easy to color. It was so fun. It makes you laugh. If you like to sled, 
There's a sentiment that also says best sledding ever with the mice falling down the uh, snowman. I totally thought definitely up to snow good is more me because uh, we can get in a lot of trouble at Christmas time doing all the Christmas fun stuff. So this one is super fun to send to friends or to another sibling, <laughs> you know, um, all that fun stuff. This one was done in watercolor. This one was done in Karin Markers, the water soluble ink, right? Uh, this is magnesium blue. Did I say that right? Um, yeah, I think so. I, it's, I call it mag blue, but it's thalo blue mixed with titanium white, so it's a bit opaque. So that's why I made my mice a little bit more gray, grayer than I would have wanted to. Whereas this color, it was like an ice blue and I could get away with adding some of that yellow to pop. But knowing your color temperatures and your color theory can really help with just painting for the sheer joy of it and still getting a good result. But those two are fun and the stamp set does like all the work for you. You literally just have to add a little bit of color and, and you're set. Uh, this one is Snow Good Sledding. <laughs> so cute this is one of my favorites I say that and then we go on to the next one and this one is all through the night or on the lookout on the lookout for Santa or when you're done with a busy busy shopping day and your dog is so excited to see you um, you know either way on the lookout I love these this is watercolor and this is the Karin markers, water color markers. I loved both of them. My thought process was I wanted the walls to be a bit darker. Going back, I probably would have toned down this blue a little bit more, but it works. It's not terrible. Um, the dog, I just wanted a simple like watercolor fur dog and I got it. It's right there. You can kind of see the wet into wet and and I want I had a hard time finding the right color for the couch. I went with a muted green because if I did too bright then the stocking wouldn't have worked. And if I did too neutral then the then the curtains may have looked weird. Um it works. It's 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 still a work in progress. I don't mind the colors. I think I prefer maybe the darker dog. Again, this is my dog, Maisie. Uh, she, she's a black dachshund lab mix and so super cute. But um, anyways, there's that. And then for the third one, I kind of was like, I don't know about the yellow. It's a frosty night. Maybe I'll do black. And I do actually like the darker window with the background. So it looks like it's just part of the card, which is what I like. So I would I would definitely do this color scheme again, um, uh, more so than the other ones, but this still works. They all three work. Just which one works the best? I don't know. This one works the best, actually. <laughs> Anyways, and that one is on the lookout. So darling. Okay. This one, I got three different cards out of them. I did the dog, the two dogs, and then the bunny rabbit, the bunny and the little rat and the uh, bird. This one, I didn't know what I was going to do, so I just cut it to the size that I thought I needed. And then I added a nice little background paper, simple, like red striped background paper with brown, with a brown frame. And I watercolored it. It's very simple. It says Merry Christmas. I basically just did what the top of the stamp set said and went with it. But it really is effective and it really works. And I only did one. The other one is still getting made. This one I left so I could stamp something for somebody. You know, sometimes I just need a Christmas card, but I don't remember, like, I don't know what to put on yet. So I'll leave a lot of space for a sentiment. Maybe it will literally say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, but I don't know yet. So, and none of these stamp, none of these sentiments were calling to me. So I decided to just leave them blank, but here's the watercolor one. 
and here is the car and marker one. The watercolor, the I wanted it to look natural with a little hint of Christmas. So there's the red cardinal, and then I wanted the wrapping paper to be very natural, like maybe the rabbit found it in the woods, and and like it's just a natural green. So that's why I chose the green and then the darker green ribbon, because probably not going to see like shiny bright ribbon in the woods but from a rabbit anyways it goes on with the whole theme and feel of it and it works all right so then I go on to my cute little doggy one and it just says family is the greatest gift uh, because we adopted our dog this uh, well it was March but still I think that <laughs> this is so cute this would be a great adoption dog card or it could be a great card like for just a family that loves doggies it's just so cute um anyways i know that someone will know that oh you know <laughs> we got a dog and um family's the greatest gift because we have a dog anyways it makes sense in my mind in my lisa world so anyways watercolor car and markers and the stamp set is Christmas presents. Oh, that's a cute name for it because you have all you have the bird and the bunny and the doggies with the Christmas presents. So cute. Anyways, those are fun. And I just used a die to cut out and layer. I did. There's three layers to this card. And then the last one, the stamp set is somewhere, but I cannot find it. It's small like this, and it just has. It literally has this as a stamp, but it's on. Uh, Colorado Crafts website. You can still order it. Oh, I just can't find it. Anyways, it's super cute. I love this little robin. I always, uh, we get robins in Iowa throughout the whole year. So it used to be maybe a Christmas thing or not a Christmas thing, but robins come to our house like every year. So I decided to do a robin. I wanted the reds to match the present um, and I wanted a simple blue background. Uh, but I love this Mother Teresa verse. It just says, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. And I think, I think this is a perfect card to give to a friend or to a neighbor, someone that you just adore. And then this one is, sometimes the magic of Christmas is found in the little things. And that's the sentiment that goes with this stamp set. The Mother Teresa one goes with... Oh, they both go with this bunny rabbit one. Um, so both of these sentiments go with the bunny rabbit. Uh, so anyways, uh, super cute stuff. I die-cutted this out. It was a scalloped square. And then I added the frame. And then the, the, the just the regular brown background paper. So anyways, I hope this kind of helps and gives you an idea of, okay, this is watercolor marker and this is watercolor. Uh, there, there is a difference. I can't wait to show you some of my techniques that I've used with these. Uh, they're all the same, but just different mediums. So you can use the same techniques with different mediums and really get some fun stuff. So I'd love to know what your favorite card is. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a simple one like with the bunny rabbit. I don't know. Those are so cute. I did have a lot of fun making these uh, landscape scenes, so that was fun. Uh, but anyways lots of fun i'm going to share with you some more later but for this video this is just an overview of how i how i do my process so anyways enjoy keep painting and we'll see you next time bye